Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Lit 2000 Honors. My name is Jackie Pierce, and I'm your instructor for this fall semester. We are going to be learning a lot about literature and some oftentimes the connections with politics and government and society, uh, which is, of course, your special edition of the Intro to Lit course. I've been doing this particular class for several years now, and uh, it is always my honor to work with the honors students. So welcome aboard. Every week, I'm going to be posting a video very much like this. I call them weekly walkthroughs. And essentially, it's me touching base as if we were in a live class together so that I can go over you know, what's going on that week, any special things that you need to be thinking about or working on or doing, um, just kind of running you through like what you need to do during that week of, of class. So please take time out of your schedule to watch those early in the week. Um, if you're watching this one, you're already doing a good job. So excellent there. Um, but they, I, I do find that they help everybody to succeed in the course because it's just kind of that touch base of this is what's happening this week this is what you need to know um if there's anything that has been confusing to people i can kind of you know answer those questions up front all that kind of stuff so um we're gonna take a look at the course itself part of your assignment this week of course is to do that in addition to just what i'm walking you through uh because of course you need to, you learned how to navigate Canvas and, and see what's what and all that good stuff. So, uh, but I will kind of walk you through this week and then you'll get to do some of it on your own so that you can complete your first official assignments, um, which are in online classes. That's how you are marked as having attended. So just opening the course in Canvas does not equal attendance. So it's very important this week that you do the graded assignments and that way you are counted as being present. Okay. So let me go ahead and share the screen. Right now I have got the canvas turned on to the student view and that is what it looks like when you see it. Um, there's a lot of different editing tools that are on my view. I will eventually have to turn that off because in order to go into the concourse syllabus, we have to get rid of the student view. So, but I'm going to save that for the end. So whenever you log into Canvas, you're going to be coming in on this landing page. This is your home page for the course. And I want to talk a little bit about the navigation stuff that is there. Um, on the far left-hand corner, you have the Canvas materials. And the most important thing over there for you in terms of me and this class is the inbox link. When you have a question about the course, especially if you have a question about your own particular personal performance at the course, or you need to tell me something personal, that's what you use. Instead of using regular email, um, whenever you have a course in Canvas, the inbox is the best choice. Uh, I am usually very quick at returning emails um, and inbox messages. So it is often, just as quick as trying to make a phone call or whatever. So please do utilize the inbox. On the next column, you will have the navigation at, uh, pieces within our class. These will look different depending on how your instructors have set up uh, their courses. So in my class, you'll have the home, obviously, which is where we are now. You'll have the concourse syllabus link, which is the syllabus. And we're going to look at that before the end. You have a link to the discussions, um, the grades, the people, the modules, the collaborations, Office 365 and Starfish. Um, the ones that you are going to use the most are going to be the grades when you are checking your own grades and the modules, which is where all the course material is going to be laid out for you. Um, on the right hand side, you will notice that there are, there's a to-do list and my dog is having a moment. So don't pay attention to her. Um, the to-do list will keep you oriented as far as what's due when you'll notice the due dates are all on there. But the do, the to-do list is also a little bit dangerous in that a lot of times people will click on these links 
and go to try to do the assignment without ever looking at the course materials. So you definitely want to make sure that you are doing the learning before you do the earning of points. So please just keep that in mind. Um, the to-do list is great. It will help you stay organized, but it's also a bit of a danger zone. Um, you will want to read through everything that's on the home page early on. You get to meet me. You get to see some of my family. Um, and then when you are ready, you're going to click on the start here, which will take you to the modules, which we'll do in just a second. My contact information, I do have a number here. If you have an emergency question, you can text me. Um, you certainly can text me during office hours on Monday evenings from seven to eight if you wanna hop in the Zoom with me because I typically don't sit in the Zoom, um, but I will answer the text really quickly. When you text me, make sure that you provide both your name and which course you're in because I am teaching multiple courses. The other link that's here is to a public question and answer uh, discussion board. And this should be used for questions about the assignments or about the course that other people might have as well. Um, you can also subscribe to that discussion forum and that way you'll get a link or email alert every time somebody posts something, uh, question or answer. So we'll go to the start here in a menu, in a menu, in a moment. But below that is the semester's schedule. Um, this is also on the syllabus, but I, fe I feel like it's probably helpful to have it on the homepage so that you can refer to it quickly. Um, and you can kind of go ahead and put things in your to-do list and in your calendars. Uh, the courses, uh, online courses, typically, mine certainly do, begin on Monday and end on Sunday. The only time that schedule changes as far as due dates would be the final. The final exam is due on Thursday during finals week and not Sunday because grades are due Monday morning. So that's why there's a little bit of a, a different uh, note there. So the modules, let's go to start here. Um, there's not, there's no modules yet published other than week one, uh, but that's really all we need to worry about right now. So I'm going to continue to, to build and post those as the, as the semester goes on, but each module will have two, what Canvas calls pages. The first one is where you do the learning. And the second one is where you do the earning of points. So in week one, you're going to open this, you're gonna see the overview and the objectives, and then you're going to have your learning materials. So this is where you will do all of your reading, any videos will be posted here that you need to watch, all of that stuff. Um, so go through each of these step-by-step. Step. And then when you're ready to do the assignments, you have two ways to go back. You can either just go back to the module or you can click the next button and that will take you to the next page. And here are your two assignments that you're gonna take this week. The startup scavenger hunt is a quiz. So I'm not gonna open that and show it to you, but it is not timed. You can take your time with it. I promise it's not hard. Um, and then the other important assignment this week is the getting to know you discussion board, which of course is exactly what it sounds like. The discussion boards have a box on them where you click reply and then you create your reply in this box. You can post a photo of yourself. You can also do a video. So I have, um, we're gonna do some experimentation this fall. Um, there's gonna be quite a few uh, there's four discussions where you are using uh, video completely. On this one, you can write it out if you want to, or you can post a video. If you do write out your response, I do want you to post a photo so that we get to see you because that's, of course, one of the tricks in an online class. I know that you guys are all in the same program and you're a cohort, so you all know each other, uh, but I haven't gotten to meet any of you in person yet. So um, even though this is a little bit different than most classes where you may not know the rest of the class, I would appreciate you uh, helping me out by introducing yourselves in visual form as well. All right, so let's go to the course syllabus. And like I said, I'm gonna have to turn off the student view for that. There we go. Um, the course syllabus is in a tool called Concourse Syllabus. It will open in a new tab. 
I am not going to read the syllabus to you because it is part of your assignment this week. Um, but I do want to point out a couple of key things, including um, how, you know, it's got my contact information again and all that good stuff, but you can also get that on the homepage. Um, it talks a great deal about technology because this is an online class. I do want to remind you that if you lose access to the course um, or to your computer, you are responsible for getting that fixed. So please do read through these carefully. And then of course, um, the final thing is the calendar. Right above the calendar, you'll notice it's got the withdrawal date. Um, if you are not going to finish a class successfully, you have to withdraw yourself by that date. Otherwise you will get a grade. So I will talk to you before then if it's an issue, but for right now, it's just important to note that that is listed on the syllabus for you. Um, and then of course there is the calendar, which we just looked at because that same calendar is on the homepage. So, I will see you all again next Monday if I do not chat with you in between times, but I look forward to meeting all of you on the discussion board. So take care and happy week one of the semester.